In this video tutorial, we'll guide you through the complete setup of your LG GD510 POP. First, you'll need to turn the device over so the screen is facing down. Remove the back cover by holding the phone firmly, then sliding the back cover off the handset. You will now see your microSD and your SIM card slots. Take your SIM card and slide it into the slot provided, with the chip facing down. You'll also see a small diagram showing you which way to insert the SIM card. Now slide open your microSD memory card slot gate. Pop your microSD memory card into the slot, then close the microSD memory card slot gate by sliding it forwards then backwards. Now pop your battery in, ensuring the copper connectors are facing the right direction. Slide your back cover back onto the handset, then turn the device over. Your LG Pop has a large 3 inch touchscreen capable of both finger and stylus touch. And at the bottom of the device, you have your One Touch Intelli key, which helps you to perform various functions and actions. On the right hand side of the device, you have your camera shortcut button and multitasking key. Long press for camera, short press for multitasking. On the left hand side of the device is your mini USB port for your hands free kit, home and in car chargers. Along the same side is your volume controls, rockers, to increase and decrease your phone's volume. And at the top of the device is your power button, which also doubles as your touchscreen and lock key. Press your power button in now to switch on your device. You'll be taken through a setup if this is the first time you're activating your mobile phone, which includes calibration, which teaches the phone how you touch based on your presses of the red and blue dots. This is your setup wizard. Press the white arrow at the bottom right of the screen to continue. Select your desired language from the list or select automatic. From here you can set the time and date as well as activating the daylight saving modes. You can now opt to set up email, however we will cover this in a separate tutorial. Next you'll be taken through some product tutorials. Once complete please select done. This is your widget home screen whereby you can tap the clock to set an alarm for instance. Having widgets on the home screen makes it easier to access quickly all applications. Selecting the blue widget icon will reveal all available widgets in the lower toolbar. Tap a widget to add it to the home screen and by shaking the phone it will auto align your widgets and tidy up your home screen. This is your menu icon which will take you through to your phone's menu system. You can see the whole menu by sliding your finger across each section or turn and hold the phone in landscape to get a widescreen view. Use your IntelliKey key at the bottom of the phone to return back to the home screen. This also helps to end phone calls. Slide your finger across the screen to reveal your LiveSquare contacts screen. LiveSquare is a great way of keeping your most contacted contacts in one place. You can also view their entire contact history and even return phone calls and messages quickly and easily. Tap the settings icon to change your LiveSquare settings, including avatars, backgrounds and other widgets. Swipe your finger across your screen again to reveal your speed dial home screen. Take the speed dial widget icon and then tap it. Now you can add more speed dials to your home screen and you can also shake the phone to auto rearrange. Tap a speed dial to add a new contact. Now select a contact from your contact book. By tapping a set speed dial, you'll be able to message, edit, delete or call the contact. At the top of your screen you have your signal strength meter. Underneath is your home screen icons, widget, live square or speed dial. This is your alarm clock icon, then it's messages and voicemail, profiles, your memory card icon, battery meter and finally time. 
In this video tutorial, we showed you how to set up your LG POP GD510 touchscreen mobile phone. For more LG POP tutorials, please visit our website, and don't forget to rate and leave any comments.